just wanted to do a quick little studio hint here. Um, just finishing up a project, getting ready to move on to the next one, which usually means that my studio, and especially palette and brushes, have gotten quite dirty. So you can see here what I've got is a big toolbox that I got at Home Depot. And then I built an extra wing that I can put stuff on. And uh, then I put a large piece of uh, glass, tempered glass on there, had it cut to size, painted it gray. And so it makes a great, really large palette. And um, putting it between me and the uh, easel that I use kind of forces me to stand back so I don't get up too close and uh, lose sight of what I'm actually painting. But here's the thing for today, is this very messy palette. And just like often, very often, I leave it too long and it gets dried on. I can get off a lot of the stuff, but it's gonna take me a long time to scrub this thing completely clean. So I want to show you a quick little hint. Okay, set up the camera on a little tripod so I can use both hands to get clean. So again, if I just scrape it like this, it's gonna take me forever. So, of course, the next tool I would grab is a razor blade. And if you have a big palette like this, I suggest a big razor blade. Make sure it's as clean as possible. And that's gonna actually clean off quite a bit more. But still leaving a lot of uh, a lot of residue and a lot behind. So I'm gonna scrape all that down and I'm not gonna make you watch me, but I'm gonna get that all scraped off and then I'll show you the next step. All right, here we are about a minute or two later. I've got it all scraped up into a nice big pile. I'm just gonna throw that all away. Again, cleaning the razor blade. And uh, get that out of here. So you see the palette's already looking a lot better. Uh, a lot of painters might even call that clean enough. Um, I actually do like to clean in between projects and kind of start fresh knowing that I'll make a big mess the next time. So here's the tools for the final stage for me is a 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. This will break down the dried oil or the uh, medium that I've used. And if you use medium in your paints, boy, that can really stick on there. Um, so I'm just gonna put a bit of this. Make sure your window or door is open. This stuff really does smell. I have an old uh, dishes brush that I keep around. And I just kind of move that alcohol around, making sure it's getting all over the palette. I know it's really hard to see because clear alcohol, but just trust that I'm basically moving it. I'm not scrubbing too much at this point. Is I'm going to let the alcohol actually do the work and the uh, heavy lifting for me. So I'm just going to let that sit for up to about three minutes. Um, starting to drip off here. I'll pull some of that up and uh, then I'll get back to you again. Here we are about three, four minutes later. And let's see if it worked. So it was really stuck on there. Put on the alcohol, let it sit. Yeah, and look at that. Just like butter. Just comes right off. So, there you go. That's my little helpful hint for today. Is let alcohol do the work in cleaning for you. All right, hopefully that was useful. Have a great day, everybody.